You can resize any page vertically by going into the selector tool and just hovering the mouse pointer over the bottom edge of the page. I've zoomed out a bit so you can see the whole page. After a short pause, the mouse pointer changes and you can now just drag the page up or down to make it longer or shorter. Then you simply reposition the various page elements as required. For example, this page. Resize the page the same way and then just drag the various elements to their new position. Many pages have a background rectangle and for this just click on it and you will get resize handles around the edge. Then you can just stretch the rectangle as required, like this. I'll open another example web page. This is a slightly more complex one. I can resize the page the same way. Just drag on the bottom edge. This page has two levels of background. I'll change the theme colour to make this more obvious. So you can see there is a black background, this pale coloured background, and then the white panel background on top of that. I can reposition the footer elements by dragging and resize each of the background rectangles by clicking on each in turn and resizing as required. If you want to make a page shorter, you need to be a bit careful. If I have multiple pages, I'll just replicate this page so I now have two. If I drag the page upwards, all the footer elements have now gone off the page and are hidden. I'll undo that. So when reducing pages, just make sure you move the page elements first before you shrink the actual page height. Simply move each one and then it's safe to reduce the page height, like this. You can change the width of pages but it's not usually recommended to go much wider than this typical example page size. However, to change the width, select File, Page Options, where you can change the page height and width to any numeric value.